Nur Bay is a long range. Subsonic cruise missile are geared for a fourth test in December this year. India's recent membership of the Missile Technology Control Regime, MTCR, made a difference in the indigenously designed and developed long range subsonic cruise missile Nur Bay. India has to depend on indigenous technology so far because it was not a member of MTCR. The missile has recently undergone changes and Indian scientists are geared for a fourth test in December this year. Nur Bay is a long-range, subsonic cruise missile designed and developed in India by the Defence Research and Development Organisation. Nur Bay is an all-weather, low-cost, long-range cruise missile capable of carrying conventional and nuclear warheads. The missile has a range of more than 1,000 kilometers, weighs about 1,500 kilograms and has a length of 6 meters. The missile is powered by a solid rocket booster for takeoff which is developed by Advanced Systems Laboratory ASL. Upon reaching the required velocity and height, turbofan engine in the missile takes over for further propulsion. The missile is guided by a highly advanced inertial navigation system indigenously developed by research center Rimarat RCI under radio altimeter for the height determination. The missile can carry warheads ranging between 300 kg and 400 kg and a total of 24 types of warheads can be attached based on mission requirements. It can be launched from multiple platforms including aircraft land-based vehicles, launchers, ships and submarines and shall be inducted into Indian Navy, Army, and Air Force. Nur Bay is a two-stage missile system with loitering capability. Nur Bay is equipped with ring laser gyroscope for accurate strikes. Nur Bay can fly at extremely low altitudes, the missile is enabled with terrain-hugging technology which effectively means the missile can fly in the tree levels. This method is instrumental in avoiding detection by enemy radar systems and can help in reducing the reaction time of the enemies. Nur Bay is capable of carrying both nuclear and conventional warheads. Initially Nur Bay will be launched from a mobile launcher which has been developed by Tata. Further development will guarantee the launch of Nurbe from aerial and naval platforms. A low flight trial of Nurbaya will be held next month. This will be followed by two more flights. Work on the air variant is on, said Aeronautical Development Establishment Director MVKV Prasat. India's Defence Ministry had claimed success in some operations that the missile had performed during its last test lasting over 11 minutes. DRDO needs to get over the critical challenges experienced in stability of the missile in flight over long range which has led to abortion of the mission twice so far, Defence Analyst Brigadier Rail Bonsal, retired, said. India had sanctioned the project in 2010 with plans to complete it after three years. Later on, government had extended the date of completion and adds extra cost to the project. Of late, it was speculated that plans to extend the range of Indo-Russian BrahMos missile may sink the Nurbay project. Technically speaking a BrahMos with extended range and Nurbay are two separate projects by different agencies. Thus the move to extend the range of BrahMos should not impact the development of the Nur Bay. What is to be decided is do we want two sets of cruise missiles, one with a range of 600 and another 1000 kilometers. Is there an operational requirement of the two categories of missiles for the armed forces and is there enough money to develop both? Asked Bonsal. However, the government wants to provide full backing to a completely indigenous project as it will give the defense planners greater autonomy in production and deployment. Thank you for watching. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe.